Yo, what is up and welcome to a very important video on the importance of music and contrary to popular belief, I'm actually not going to tell you to stop listening to music forever like a certain David Goggins would tell you, like certain people in Islam would tell you. I'm going to teach you how to use music effectively to win at life. David Goggins, 50 mile runs, up to 240 mile runs even for the Molab 240. And he doesn't listen to any music at all. And why is that? The reason is because music releases dopamine, releases endorphins, it releases hormones which makes you happy. So if he were to get a spike of dopamine during his run, it would make him feel worse during the parts where he's not able to listen to music. So he wants to maintain a constant state of well-being. So using that, how can you effectively implement music at certain parts of your day to make sure that you get the positive benefits from it without becoming desensitized and becoming one of the seashell radio people where all you do is have airpods in all day you're kind of having the music on autopilot without appreciating the lyrical and melodical complexity dopamine is released when you listen to a piece of music however you don't even need to hear the actual song the dopamine's released within just a few seconds if you've already heard the song before, if your brain has gotten used to it. There have been case studies of people having brain injuries, surviving them, like really, really severe brain injuries. And they're given songs that they probably listened to in the past. And they couldn't tell you what the song's called, they can't recognise it, but they will still be able to tell you the emotion that the song's supposed to give, which just proves how important music is. So I'm going to give you five different reasons, five different playlists. So playlist number one is a pretty classic endorphin releaser, aka something that makes you happy. And this playlist is definitely going to have the most amount of songs. And how I would define this is usually something with quite a strong beat drop, a big change from the normal part of the song to where it goes. And that's usually the part which you're going to be excited for you're going to wait for that part and then you're going to take action in your life when you get to that part my eyes by travis scott takes like three minutes to get through the build-up and then the big rapping part starts playlist very very important the nostalgic playlist and these aren't just old songs these are songs that you listen to when you're a kid and you have childhood memories of these songs and this is going to evoke strong memories when you listen to these songs and it's going to have a big impact on your brain's physiology. Really reserve these songs for when you're having a tough time in your mental health because if you get desensitized from these songs then what other resorts are you going to take? I for this is called Ushmiyak Nisha by Maxel. Let me just play that absolutely amazing song. Three, pretty obvious, a relaxation, a sleep playlist. It doesn't have a strong beat drop. It usually continues at quite a steady rate. Maybe it does have a high note near the end to signalise to your brain. Right, the high note has been reached. It is time to go to sleep. Usually quite a soothing voice. For example... gonna send to your brain right we've reached the quarter of the day things have become stabilized they are not up and down like the beat drops time to go to sleep is study music focus music people say that they can study with music and this is not me this is not me at all complex lyrical music while actually studying how is rap gonna help you get through study if your brain is trying to focus at full capacity and the lyrics are going at full speed and you're trying to analyse the words and the meanings that the artist is trying to make. And another thing is classical music. Classical music was literally made to be complex, to have different notes arranged in different orders, to create meaning. It's meant to create emotion. And emotion 
is not what you want to have when you're trying to study. And now we move on to my favourite playlist of the lot. <coughs> <coughs> I just choked on a piece of leek. My favourite playlist of the lot is a playlist which makes you feel like you're starting a new Asian empire. Beginning of the desert of Kazakhstan. Conquering Russia, China, India. All the way down to the Middle East. These are things that our ancestors would have listened to like 500, 600 years ago. So I'm going to give you two... As you can see, absolutely cold. Second example. This is more real traditional. Spanish music of the Arabic Al Andalus Empire. As you can see, an absolute hood classic. Definitely is not going to incite gang violence.